Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate practice exam question. I got a good one for you today. This one was highly contested. I have a different answer than what the textbook had on this one. Uh, and I will tell you why I think it might be some state specific stuff going on here. But let's jump right into it. The answer, the question reads like this A broker incorporates his business and subsequently dies. And another person becomes a broker for the corporation. A, any listings that he secured immediately terminates. B, all the listings may be canceled by the principals without further cause. C, new listings uh, must be secured from all the owners of the properties being handled by the office. Or D, contracts with the principals do not terminate upon the death of the broker under these circumstances. So, let's get rid of two right off the bat. New listings must be secured from all the property owners. No, not necessarily. Okay, so that would be the assumption that all of the listings have terminated, and you must secure um, from all the properties being handled by the office. That is, we're getting into the semantics of it, and I hate trying to do that, but. Bottom line is new listings must be secured. No, I don't like that as an answer, okay? And then the other one I don't like is B, all the listings may be canceled, meaning that they're basically voidable status now. I don't like that one. They may be canceled by the principals without further cause. So what we're left with, any listings he has secured immediately terminates and contracts with principles do not terminate upon the death of the broker under these circumstances. So the textbook in which this was gathered from, student told me that this was D. Contracts with the principles do not terminate upon the death of the broker under these circumstances. Now, I differ from that. I say death of the broker terminates the listings. Now, here's what I will tell you. Most brokers do incorporate. And the agency relationship is not with the corporation, which would be a, an entity that does not die, okay? So the situation is that it is with the broker. So the agency relationship, the employment agreement, because that's what, um, uh, that's what the, uh, the listing really is. It's an employment agreement from the principal, which is the seller, to have the listing broker procure a buyer, okay? And the salesperson or broker salesperson would work as a representative of the broker. So my interpretation is that death, insanity, or bankruptcy of either, and this is literally from the textbook, death, insanity, or bankruptcy of either the principal or the broker terminates the listing so any listings that has been secured immediately terminates would be the answer that I would choose A, because that is how I have read it verbatim. That is how I have seen it written in questions. And I would not say that it is D, unless you're in a circumstance where the agency relationship in your state would be with the corporation. But I don't know of a state that is like that. Again, unless there is some state-specific material here, a is the answer because death, insanity, or bankruptcy of either the principal or the broker would terminate all listing and employment agreements. So guys, I hope you like that one. If you do, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'm going to see you real soon.